BuckeyeHuddle.com, our southern swing continues. We are in Warner Robins, Georgia, Warner Robins High School. This is our last stop in Georgia. We were uh, wrapped up last night in Buford at their spring game. We got down here to Warner Robins overnight. Isaiah Gibson, one of the nation's top prospects in the 2025 class. First of all, how are you doing this morning, Isaiah? I'm doing good. How about you? Doing well, doing well. We're on our way to Florida here, so glad you could make some time for us this morning uh, while we're on our way through. But first of all, you know, let's get to this. When did things kind of start with Ohio State? Um, you weren't necessarily a name we had really thought about much like six months ago maybe, but mm -hmm. things, it seems like things are – Picking up a little bit there, when did your contacts start with Ohio State and how, how has that been going lately? Uh, my contact started with Ohio State like around basketball season, like around that time, mm -hmm. you know what I'm saying? And Coach Johnson, he had canceled one of my basketball games, but I actually had a pretty good game that game, and then I got an offer after the game. So then it's, just, it's just been hot ever since then. Yeah. What are your thoughts on Coach Johnson so far, just being able to talk to him on the phone and how he, I know he's been by the school a couple of times. Any impressions of him so far? Actually, I feel like Coach Johnson is a very developing coach as he's been there. He's been at every level for a long time. You know what I'm saying? He's been at Ohio State for a long time. He's produced some of the, um, in my opinion, some of the best D-Lam that's come, like, come out of college football. So, yeah. Any one of those, you know, there's been some guys through Ohio State. Anyone that you kind of – watched or gravitated towards chase young for sure that's that's the guy a lot of yeah, you say chase young chase, sure. chase is uh, was obviously a special player at ohio state um when you see the like the track record is that something that immediately kind of grabs your attention whether it's school a or school b just if you see a school that's kind of has that track record of getting guys in the first round i, mean, I would say that yes for sure that, that that plays a bit across um like a a big part in ohio state for sure i would say that for sure yeah now, you've got an official visit scheduled for Ohio State. Can you yes. let us know when that's going to be? The 18th, the 18th of June through the 20th. Okay. What? This is going to be your first time up. Yes. So you're, you know, you're playing catch up here on kind of what the program, what the town, city is all about. Mm -hmm. What are going to be some important factors for you on that visit, you, things you have to see if, if in order to kind of be comfortable? Uh, really just life outside of football. I feel like every school that I've been to or visited has – the, the top-notch facilities, all that. So I would just say mostly life outside of football, how the players are doing, how they look at the Ohio State, how, they, how the feel of Ohio State is for sure. You're also going to get your first uh, sit-down with, with Coach Clark, Coach Lyle and Clark, mm -hmm. um, assist Coach Johnson on the defensive line. You've been talking to him a little bit as yes. well. What kind of what have they been? What's been kind of their message to you so far? Probably want to get you up there to see things. Oh, I mean, it's just, just overall message. Like, I feel like they, with me, like, me and me, I feel like they play like a big part in God. They send a lot of scriptures. I read every scripture they sing, you know what I'm saying? So I feel like that's the type of culture I want to be around because I'm a big believer in God. So I would say that for sure. Yeah, Coach Johnson, obviously a pretty religious guy, doesn't doesn't swear, kind mm -hmm. of like famously does not swear when he, uh, at, at his players or, you know, when he's coaching. And um, how that's kind of been his, like, uh, I don't, I don't want to say trademark, but like, that seems to really endear him to his players. I yeah. mean, how do you kind of look upon that and just his demeanor, I guess, and just the way he carries himself? I mean, this is a different style of coaching. Some coaches, they yell, they do all the extra, all, you know what I'm saying? But some coaches, they they do it, but they won't curse about it. It's, it's a different type of coaching, you know what I'm saying? Every coach, is, in my opinion, has a different coaching philosophy. Yeah. So I feel like that's just his, that's just his way of coaching, so yeah. Where else might uh, you be heading in June for official visits? <clears throat> well, the first week of June, I have Georgia. The second week of June, I have South Carolina. I have a midweek with Auburn. Then that weekend, I'll go to Florida. And then that, uh, I have a midweek with Ohio State. And then my last OV in June will be at Oklahoma. Where is USC fitting in in all of this? I mean, USC, you know what I'm saying, that's home. You know what I'm saying? Me and Coach Henry, we have a good relationship. I feel like USC is still home. You know what I'm saying? Everybody says that, uh, says that I'm not going there, but I'm going there for me. You know what I'm saying? But, you know, I mean, USC, I want to take my OV during the season because I feel gotcha. like it's more of my, like, uh, style of OV. You mm -hmm. know what I'm saying? So I would say I want to see it during the season and see how everything is on the game day. Cause I know how everything is outside of football. I know I've seen a lot when I, went, when, the, when I was in L.A. for the first time. It was amazing. So I feel like, yeah, for sure. Mm -hmm. And for those who don't know, he is committed to USC. Yes. So this, you know, Ohio State and, and many other schools are trying to flip him right now. Yes. Um, you know, what would a school, whether it's Ohio State, Georgia, whoever, need to show you to to get you off of that commitment to USC? 
I mean, as I would say, I'm keeping all my options open. I wouldn't say I would have to see anything in particular. It's just the feel of what I have going on at the time, you know what I'm saying? I feel like USC is still home. I feel like that would be home until December. But as everybody knows, anything can change or anything can happen until December. Yeah. What were some of the, I guess initially, what were some things that led you to commit to USC? What were some things you liked? Just the overall feel of USC. I feel like every player that I seen was happy. They enjoyed themselves. You know what I'm saying? And also the culture philosophy of Coach Riley. Like, that, I feel like that's just different. Like, he lets the, co- uh, the players be themselves. You know what I'm saying? Coach Henney. A big impact on why I can be the coach dog, coach ball. You know, I've been having good relationships, uh, good relationships with coach ball since he was in North Carolina, and then coach dog when he was in Tennessee. So that just made it even stronger of uh, me wanting to commit to USC because those, bond, those bonds that I had were just, yeah, too much to pass up on. Were you born and raised down here in Georgia? Yes. Well, I lived in Augusta for about mm-hmm. a couple of years, and then I moved okay. to Warner Robins. Gotcha. So you, you've you grown up on SEC football. Yes. Uh, you are obviously not committed to an SEC school right mm-hmm. now, and obviously the SEC schools are not just accepting that. They're yeah. just coming after you. What's that been like being a kid, like right in the heart of SEC country, not com- you know committed to a, a West Coast school, and now all the SEC schools are trying to, to change that? How, I guess, I don't know, stressful or pressure? I mean, how, how has that been just for you, uh, trying to have all these schools get after you? Yeah. Well, what people really don't know, I've always been like a huge Oregon fan. Like I've been an Oregon fan in my entire life. Like I always like when I first, because Oregon was my second offer. It was like, oh, I'm going to Oregon. Oh, I'm going to Oregon. But you know, things had happened. Whoop, whoop. But as me growing up in the southern part of the country, I would say, SEC football is, in my opinion, different than any other football in the country. Like me personally. I would play in the SEC. Me personally, I would say that for sure. It's just the the development, the just the competition that you go against every day on a day-to-day basis is different than anywhere in the country, and I've seen that for sure. And I've been there, I've been almost anywhere in the country. I can honestly say that the SEC is different by far than any other uh, conference in the country. The SEC and Big Ten rivalry is going to continue now with USC joining the conference. Yes. Uh, you know, so that's going to be kind of an interesting dynamic moving forward. Um, it seems like you are kind of a bit of like a you kind of march to the beat of your own drum kind of thing yeah. because you know you're looking at USC, you're committed to USC, you're looking at a place like Ohio State. I mean, these are not obviously SEC schools. So I guess what is the draw of maybe not playing the? Are there's just is it just kind of getting out into the world or kind of how do you view some of these schools that maybe aren't in the South? Um, I feel like I, like the schools that I view that that have they have SEC competition like. As you see, Michigan won the uh, national championship last year. Mm-hmm. As they be, had to be the SEC team to win the national championship last mm-hmm. year. You know what I'm saying? It's just the overall feel. I feel like if a program is good, they're good. They don't have to be in the SEC to be good. Yeah. But I feel like the best competition, the best players are in the SEC for sure. Well, let me ask you about this because we've been asking a lot of the Georgia guys about this. Mm-hmm. One of the bigger news items this offseason was – Caleb Downs yes. transferring from Alabama to Ohio State. Were you were you surprised when that happened? Like, what was your what was your reaction to that? I honestly, was I thought it was gonna go to Georgia. Honestly, so <laughs> every, that's what everybody thought. That's what everybody was thinking. I was actually surprised that he went to Ohio State for sure. I wouldn't have, out of all the schools, I wouldn't have thought he would go to Ohio State. That's that's about the fifth person I think on this trip that said that. Everyone yeah. thought he was going to Georgia, and then uh, you know Quinshawn Judkins, who grew up in Alabama, was mm-hmm. at Ole Miss, goes there. I mean. Does that, as a, as a guy who's in this part of the country, does that make you like wonder, like, oh, you know, what, what are they seeing in Ohio State? Does that kind of create some curiosity, maybe? Oh, yeah, I would say so, because Ohio State has a lot of Southern talent. I would say that for sure. So and that's something I had to look at for sure. Is that, like, when you go up, so you're going to be up there for the first time, I mean, mm-hmm. do you pick – do you try and find, like, Caleb Downs and, like, ask him, like, hey, like, you're, you're from Georgia, yeah. like – what, what's going on here? Like, what, what, what's this about? Like, is that something you kind of maybe find somebody like that that's from the South and yeah. kind of pick their brain on things? I would, uh, first, I would take some on Instagram and see how everything is first. Because yeah. I feel like it's two different motives. Like, I feel like yep. people are going to tell you what you want to hear yep. for most of the part, but you have to be there to actually see it. Mm-hmm. That's the reason why I'm going to Ohio State. People really don't know. I don't, I, me personally, I've never been to Ohio. I've always been on, like, the East Coast, mm-hmm. like, all up and down. So... I would just have to see what it's actually about because I've never been. So, yeah. Yep. So, officials in June, um, USC official in the fall yes. at some point. It, 
is there a point where you just say, okay, like, I'm done. Like, this is the school I'm going to. I'm either, I'm, I'm doubling down on USC or I'm switching and then I'm done. Is, have you thought about that or are you just kind of going with the flow right now? Uh, signing day in December. Yep. That's so what I my last decision. You're going you're gonna to take every day possible to, yes. to, to sort your situation. There's nothing, nothing wrong with that. They got, they, hey, they got signing day for a reason. Yeah. I mean, you, you, get, you get the entire time to figure <laughs> things out. So for sure. uh, appreciate you doing this, no Isaiah. Pre- on kind of short notice, we're, we're cut, coming to Jacksonville. We'll be Jacksonville leader today. So okay. appreciate you guys being flexible and, and no meeting with us this morning. Yes, sir. Good luck on your visits. Appreciate you. Yep. Give you one of these. <laughs> <laughs>